What's up guys, it's Ja Lord. Sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. Been busy working on editing my novel. Been busy with my job. Been doing around the house stuff and so forth. But today I got a very important news story to talk about coming out of Belgium. So today there was an attempted terror attack at the Brussels Central train station. Apparently a man came running down the stairs yelling Allahu Akbar and he had a suicide belt on and the police quote unquote neutralized him before he could do any he could carry out the attack so far nobody's been hurt or killed besides the attacker and the train station's been pretty much shut down and all, a lot of the trains throughout the country had to be rerouted and the Brussels nightlife is apparently going on as usual however Facebook had it number one in their trending section and the news outlets in the U.S. were portraying it like a miniature 9-11. And that's a big problem with our media in this country. They give crimes committed by Muslims on North American and European soil days of round-the-clock wall-to-wall news coverage. And almost never cover any Muslim condemnation of it. And... I think that Western media outlets need to be held accountable for their actions and that they need to be held to higher standards and so f Also Brussels is where NATO is headquartered and NATO is leading the big anti-ISIS coalition that I feel is doing more to perpetuate terrorism rather than abate it. In fact, US and NATO airstrikes killed more civilians last month alone than ISIS, Russia, and Assad combined. And this this sort of situation of bombing innocent civilians just because they happen to live in an area near t where terrorists operate. What do you think is going to happen when when a bomb flies over a person's house, kills kills their entire family? and pets and leaving them to be the only survivor. What do you think they're going to do? you think they're going to just kick back, open a cold one, watch Family Guy and say F it? Nah, they're going to be out for revenge. And the West wonders why these terror attacks happen and just... The whole, the whole situation in Syria right now is very sad. And I, like I said before, the West is only is p pouring gasoline on it already. Oh, and one more thing before I close out this video, to those of you who are, to those of you who are exploiting this this incident along with several others that have happened this year to spread Islamophobia and racism, please, for the love of God, stop! You're only helping terrorists achieve their goal. And especially those of you who are blaming refugees for the for the terror wave in Europe, please don't. Most the vast majority of Syrian refugees are trying to get away from the terrorists, not the other way, not the other way around. I don't have much else to say about the incident in Belgium, but I will send out my prayers for those affected tonight, and send out my condolences to those affected. Hope that things improve, and that's pretty much it. Peace.